In the last episode of American Artifact, we were here at the Gettysburg Museum of History in the JFK room, where we were taking a look at this suit right here that belonged to John F. Kennedy. There are all kinds of artifacts in here that are, are very fascinating, but the one that probably hits the hardest is a small artifact from the day that JFK was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. about a very uh, uh, moving artifact um, and it, it's kind of delicate um, it, it's it's a blood relic and it's a blood relic of President John F Kennedy I first became aware of this artifact over two decades ago um, probably closer to three decades ago at this point and uh, I was at Robert White's home um, in Maryland. Robert White was a super collector. He had the greatest Kennedy collection in the world and he invited me down and he was very excited because he had, he had obtained uh, a, a piece of, of the limousine leather from John F. Kennedy's car and, and he had it in, in, in this box. He had this really cool box made and he brought it out. He, made, he, he was very dramatic. He brought it out and showed me this thing. It says a relic of no, uh, November 22nd, uh, 1963, Dallas, Texas. So he opens it up and, and in, in here is some letters and some photos, but there's these two pieces of leather and, um, you, you know, it, it's from the limousine that Kennedy was riding in on the day he was assassinated in Dallas. And the limousine leather was um, two-tone. It was, it was dark leather around the edge and it, in the center, it was light leather. Um, so it was two-tone, dark and light. And what you're seeing on the light piece, that brown there, it's barely visible now, but it's there. It's, it's the, the blood of John F. Kennedy. And you know it's fine leather. It's it's and it, it comes through. You can really see how it's soaked through. And when you look at period pictures of the car, and there's pictures of it online. And and what had happened was um, they brought the the car back to Washington, um, and they also brought Kennedy back to Washington. And uh, they tried to clean the car. Now. What a lot of people don't know is that car, um, the, the presidential limousine, the, um, the 1961 Lincoln X100, was not owned by the government. Now they, I believe they all are, the, 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 the modern limousines, but back then it was, it was actually leased from Ford Motor Company. And it had a lot of special features, a bigger engine, it had some armor plating and, uh, and some, some real, you know, uh, you know, uh, special parts in, in the car. And um, the, the, the interesting thing was that the White House had a liaison with the Ford Motor Company. They actually had a guy in place there that was to deal with the car or any problems that would come up. And his name was um, Vaughn Ferguson. And, um, and he actually was in charge of the car right after the assassination and the attempt was made to clean the car and and if you've ever seen those films of Kennedy getting killed there he got hit in the head and he basically bled out in that car so the car was a bloody mess and um, so in some of his accounts he said how he tried to scrub the car with dishwashing liquid and and to clean it up because the thought was that they were going to need that car for Kennedy's funeral 
to put in the new president. Now, now the president is, is Lyndon Johnson. And they needed that car cleaned up because it was the only large presidential limousine that they had and it was the most advanced one and that's the one they wanted to use. Well, he, the, the, the attempts to clean it failed. So they realized they were going to have to do something else. So they sent it back to Ohio to have it cleaned and retrofitted. And, and what they did was they put some more um, armor plate in, which made it heavier. So they put a new engine in and they did some other features to it, put, put more... Um, a better bulletproofing in it and, and things like that and they also attached the top it, you know the car originally had a removable bubble top as they called it it was like it was like it was like plexiglass but it was supposed to be bulletproof but I don't know how bulletproof it really was I mean it was stop a small caliber bullet but they they placed a top that would be non removable on it at that point and they also ripped the leather seat out because there was no getting that that stain completely out so um, Vaughn Ferguson luckily um, saved a, a piece of that leather and um, he gave a few pieces to different institutions. I believe the Kennedy Library has a piece. I believe the National Archives has a piece. And he also gave a piece to Robert White and, and a couple other collectors that, that had gotten them. But I remember when I first saw this, I, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I, I mean, I was like, wow, somebody saved that, a, a blood relic. I mean, blood relics are very moving and and to see that i mean it literally put a, a chill down my spine when i f saw it for the first time um but robert white passed away many years ago and and we were able to get a piece um and and the case and everything and uh you know it's now at the gettysburg museum of history and it's one of our most uh interesting artifacts in my opinion Along with the display of the leather pieces from uh, from Kennedy's vehicle, uh, Eric also has a, a model of the 1961 Lincoln that Kennedy was shot in, and uh, it's kind of interesting. There's some things here that, that I didn't know. So, in the vehicle, uh, well, over here on the passenger side, uh, in the in the front seat here. Uh, well, not the front seat. The front seat would have been, you know, Secret Service. Uh, but right here in this seat would have been John Connolly. Uh, JFK would have been right behind him. Right here, his wife Jackie would have been seated. And in front of her and next to John Connolly was John Connolly's wife, uh, who was Nellie Connolly. But these seats actually folded down uh, to where you could add two passengers if need be and then here you can see also on this model this uh, two-tone blue leather in the seat that uh, that JFK and Jackie were both sitting in
on an artifact like this, provenance is everything. I mean, someone you could just get a piece of leather and say, this is the leather from the limousine. So you really have to check out stuff like that. And, you know, Vaughn Ferguson is known to have worked for the White House. He was, he was technically the technical service representative at the White House for Ford Motor Company. And, um, you know, so, so we have a letter from him and we have a letter from another White House staffer vouching for the validity of the story, someone who was there. You know, you have to get provenance from someone who was there. And the closer the person was to the event, the more believable it becomes. Also, there were some newspaper articles written about Vaughn Ferguson. And, you know, it's talking about him and, you know, and what he was doing. And um, there's a couple pages here. But, you know, here, here's another one. Um, that and and here's also a snapshot that came with this that has him holding the pieces you can see how big the pieces originally were um, he saved a fairly big piece but like I said he gave a big piece to the National Archives and he gave a big piece to the Kennedy Library but um, you know you, you have to have that you know you have to have the, the the documentation from the person who was there at the time and letter, letters and provenance and you know it's very easy to look up who Vaughn Ferguson was online and um, you know these are 100 percent authentic but um, yeah and in a relic item like this you know provenance is everything and, and this one has rock solid provenance. As we have said several times before, uh, artifacts are uh, physical markers that connect us to our history. Uh, and this is certainly an artifact that, that connects us to uh, really one of the, the most tragic and, and dark days in American history. Uh, but for, for those of us who weren't there and didn't experience it for ourselves, uh, makes it just a, a little bit more real. And uh, you can see it right here at uh, the Gettysburg Museum of History in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> 